Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Slot Beats' Beyond the Reels, where this week we will look more in depth at Phantasma Games' Golden Castle. And I'm happy to say we're joined by Tian, Phantasma's game producer and mathematician behind the company's slots. Hello, Tian. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Tian. <laughs> so, first, can you just explain a little bit about yourself to the viewers and the position you hold at Phantasma Games? Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh... So my name is Tian, and uh, I'm the. I have two roles at Phantasma Games. Uh, first, I'm the game mathematician, so I make the sl slot math model, including the real grid, the pay table, and the logic of the features. And then I'm also the game producer or the product owner at Phantasma Game. So I come up with the vision, the story, and the plan for the game. I feedback on the art, on the music, and I make sure the game gets shipped on time. So that's my roles. Mm -hmm. And today's title is Golden Castle Titanways. Can you just give us a quick overview of the title? And can you just walk us through the Titanways mechanic? Sure. Uh, so Golden Castle is a six times six uh, games, six, six reels. And uh, there are four interesting points to mention when it comes to the mechanics of the game. Uh, first is, of course, the Titanways and the Titan symbols. Uh, so in this game, uh, we have oversized symbols, and as we call it, the Titan symbols. And with the oversized symbols, we have a, a unique evaluation system, and we call it the Titan ways. And then the, the other three points are the game Avalanche. So anytime you get a win, the winning symbols disappear, and new symbols drop in, and you get another chance to hit another win. And then there are two interesting features in the game. The first is the Wild Hunt feature, and then there's also a free spin the phantom free spins. So that those are the four interesting points of the game. And then the setup is, uh, is an adventure into a, a haunted uh, golden castle uh, where you, you, you meet, where you, you find out uh, the secret about the castle, uh, review the secret of the forgotten castle. And uh, the secret is the, is the gargoyle. So if you get a gargoyle, then you trigger the free spin. Uh, yeah, and then and you, there's also the Haunted King. Uh, yeah, that's the overview of the, the game. Yeah. So with the theme, what was the process of the title's development that the medieval era was decided? And yeah, what made Phantasma go down this like theme, uh, genre route? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so usually uh, when we uh, decide on a concept or when we start a game, we come up with a story and a narrative, and then we look for symbols and objects from the story. But uh, Golden Castle was a bit different. Uh, since the mechanics is, um, uh, is very unique and it has a very uh, heavy requirement on the, on the art, since each symbol needs to appear in uh, different sizes. So we, we kind of decided very early that we need to go with gems. Uh, and as you can see, we went with gems. Uh, so. What we needed is to find a theme or a narrative that works with gems. And then we had uh, two very interesting candidates. Uh, the first one is, uh, is Spider Cave. So we would, uh, it's kind of like a sequel to Serpent Shrine. We would call it like a spider shrine. Uh, so then, then this real grid will be kind of, the background will be a spider web. And, uh, and the main reason why we, we consider spider is uh, in, in this game, you have those oversized symbol that they crush the, the small symbol under them. And at that moment, we were thinking the spider, the uh, two spider le leg can come in and then, then reposition the symbol that would get crushed to, to save the symbol. So, so, so that's the spider theme. And then the, the, the other candidate is the, the castle theme with a forgotten castle and you have the haunted king. Uh, and, uh, and we went with the castle. This is... Uh, uh, yeah, we, 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 we think that the spider is probably a bit too creepy and it's, it could be off-putting. And then the, the castle game is, uh, is a good fit. Uh, it's a castle filled with gems. And then the Haunted King is a very interesting idea. So we went with this uh, castle theme. Yeah. I don't know, that spider idea sounds pretty cool, the webs. So uh, is that something that you probably might jump back to further down the line? Yeah, every time we bring up, we are considering doing a spider game. Everybody gets so hyped. The team gets very hyped, and then the operators and players, they all, they all like the idea on paper. So maybe one day. 
So when you're kind of like coming up with the ideas for your titles, you said first that normally you'll go for like the themes and the stories, but this time you decided to do, um, it was kind of secondary due to the Titan ways. It is more the symbols this time is decided a lot earlier, mainly because the Titan ways is a very, uh, it has a requirement on the symbols. Uh, we couldn't really go with object or characters because it would be very, very challenging to uh, have a character and an object that uh, appear in five different sizes and to be read as one symbol. Uh, so we went with gems, uh, like we did in our uh, previous games, Medallion and Flower of Fortune. Yeah. But how mm -hmm. important is it for the developer, mainly the player as well, that you decide to go with the story and the themes first compared to the mechanics and the features? Mm. Oh, is, that, is that like a double-edged sword? Like? <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, the interesting story is, uh, is very important uh, uh, and uh, it's also very helpful if you, if you decide on an interesting story earlier in the production, then it's easier uh, to come up with symbols and then find good ways to present the features. Uh, yeah, and also, but, but it, it can be very challenging because there are a lot of good stories, but not necessarily that the good story and theme work with your mechanics. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would say a good story is very important uh, and there are many uh, uh, things to consider when picking the theme. Uh, whether it works with the mechanics or whether it's an interesting story. Uh, and um, yeah. No, that's fine. So with this gold, with Golden Castle, like you said, we touched on the gem symbols. Can you just highlight certain symbols in the game which are important to the players to notice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so let's first talk about the normal symbols, the pain symbols. There are three uh, value hierarchy. Uh, there are the high pain symbols, which are frame, framed in gold, uh, very strong and uh, saturated, uh, vibrant colors. Uh, those are valuable symbols. And uh, I think as long as you get a win with it, it's generally paying out pretty decent. Uh, and then there are two other hierarchies, the medium pay and the low pays, uh, which um, doesn't pay that well, but since it's a waste game, right? It's a Titan waste game, you can still win a lot by getting a, a full screen of it, a lot of it, and then the, 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 the ways, they just uh, add up. So that's the normal pain, normal pain symbols. And then there are two special symbols in this game. Uh, the first one is the Haunted King. Uh, the wild haunt, it triggers the wild haunt feature. Uh, it is um, it's a king symbol, and when it lands, it uh, plays more wild, and it uh, adds more ways to the game. And then there is the gargoyle symbol, which is the scatter symbol. And if you get the three gargoyle in one round, then you trigger the free spin. So mm -hmm. two special symbols and then uh, a bunch of gems. Those are the normal pain symbols. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you mentioned the wild haunt feature and also the phantom free spins round. Can you just tell us more about these mods and how players will access them? Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just going to stop here, actually, because we can behind Behind Tian, there is a button which it says buy free spins. So we're just mm -hmm. gonna we're gonna access that now through that mode. Um, before we talk about oh not enough. Oh, I'll actually use all my money. One second. Ah, let's lower the spins. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've actually used most of the demos um, allotted balance because I've actually had it on like fifty bets or fifty dollars per spin or euro, <laughs> shall I say? Um, okay, so we've accessed free spins now. Yes, so those are the gargoyle symbols. Those are the secret of the castle. You get three of them, then you reveal the secret and you trigger the free spin. Yeah, so we've just triggered that now. So, yeah, so can you just walk us through the phantom free spins now? Yes. Yeah. So, so the, the phantom free spins is uh, very, very straightforward. Uh, it plays very similar to the base game. And uh, the key feature is the increasing multiplier, a very standard um, uh, and a very strong feature. So every time you win, it increases the all-win multiplier by one, and it's persistent throughout the entire free spin. And then there's also uh, a re-trigger within the phantom free spin. So, so if you get another three gargoyle symbols inside the free spin, then you then you re-trigger the free spins. And then yeah, 
that's that's where you can really hit big. And what we are seeing now is the wild hunt feature. So uh, the wild hunt feature can be triggered in the base game, and you also trigger it a lot in the free spins. Ah, oh, we trigger it again, but that's gonna be a good one. Okay. Yeah, so the main selling point is the increasing multiplier, and on top of that, there's a retrigger. And then another thing was to mention is you, you get a lot of wild haunt feature in the free spin, so you get a lot of ghost king. Mm -hmm. Just gonna see how this round pans out. That's fine. So how many times can you retrigger the um the feature? Ooh, the retrigger is uh, is a very expensive uh, event. You don't get it very often. Uh, but when you get it, it's it really pays off. I think on the mass side, you probably re-trigger every 20 free spins. Every, every 20 free spins trigger, then you're going to get one re-trigger. That's on average. If you're lucky, you can get it on your first free spin. We've got a, we've got a, we've got, we've got a mega one at the moment. That's pretty good. Yeah, this this is... A, you, you're already on an X8 multiplier, and you got the wild haunt feature. So, so this is a very rewarding spin already. With a C, ah, then you get that purple, and then that's a lot of ways as well. Perfect. While we've got it here, um, we'll move on to the next one because it's quite relevant. The one, the kind of the table above me on the left hand side right here. Can you just talk us through the wing tracker and explain why you implemented within this title? Mm -hmm. So, so the wing tracker it just shows you the, the breakdown, the details uh, of of your winning, and. Uh, uh, the, the most interesting part of this win tracker is uh, a lot of the time when you, when you get a big win, you get a full screen of red symbols and you know there's a lot of ways, but then uh, you, you kind of don't know how, how exact how many ways th there is, there are. And this win tracker uh, actually tells you exactly how many ways there were. Uh, so you don't have to do the math yourself, like two times three times five times three, and then it's, yeah, basically it gives you a detailed breakdown of your winnings. It shows you the exact amount of ways you won, and then, uh, yeah, it keeps track of your, your winnings. It doesn't reset inside free spins, so after you have played the free spins, you can actually uh, look at what winning combinations you got, got in, the, in the entire free spins. So that's also a pretty interesting part. It's like a history reader. Mm -hmm. How important is that for the experience of the player? Just to see their win like what they won on the left hand side. Cause it seems something like something so little, but certainly for a player like me, it's nice to keep track of what's getting you these wins, what's getting you, you know, the payouts compared to sometimes you'll see five symbols which award kind of like very little wins, but then two symbols which award a massive amount of wins. Like how important is it for the player to visually see what is making them win big and what is making them win small? I think it's very important. Uh, I mean, we always try to make the the, the wing amount uh, as clear as possible. And uh, when the player understand how much a symbol pay, then it's uh, easier for them to uh, get excited or to to root for certain winning combinations. If you know that the the most extensive symbols pays. Uh, ten times your bet for three of a kind. Then, 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 whenever you get two of a kind, and then you watch the third reel spinning, or you watch the third reels have symbol falling in, then it gets exciting because you know there's a potential you can win ten, ten times your bet. Uh, and uh, for 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 a waste game, uh, uh, when you win with uh, a lot of uh, uh, symbols, uh, then uh, I think it's uh, yeah. Damn, this, let's, let's get rid of this part. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. So throughout the whole process of developing the title, um, what was the key focus? Like, was it, was it the player experience or was it your job in a sense of the mass behind the slots? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's definitely the player experience. Uh, we always try to make the uh, features very understandable, very clear. Our goal is always the player don't have to read the pay table to understand what is happening. The game should just communicate it very clearly so everybody can follow what is happening and uh, why they're, when the big win happens, how they won, how they win the big win. So that's uh, that's always our first focus. Uh, but, but in this game, 
uh, the mass is actually uh, uh, made the project a very big challenge because uh, uh, a lot of the things happening in this game is 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 so is, is groundbreaking. It's new. We don't have that much reference, and uh, we, we basically need to build a lot of uh, presentations and graphics from scratch. Uh, so we're solving a lot of problems uh, when uh, making this game. Uh, yeah, so we. I think player experience is very important, but in this game, we also had a lot of, uh, we need to solve a lot of problems to, to present the, the mechanics uh, we design. And uh, and I, I think there are a lot of, uh, we learned a lot of ways to, uh, a lot while making this game. So uh, I think uh, moving on, we will be, ah. <laughs> Sorry, I, it's fine. I, I have a next question in mind, so I kind of jumped on to that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll jump away. I'll ask anyway, just so the audience know. So, going forward, will Phantasma look to expand and develop more Titan Way titles? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. Uh, when we made uh, this Titan Ways game, we learned a lot. Uh, and uh, we even came up with a bunch of ways to make the feature more interesting. Uh, we thought about a crushing multiplier, like like in this game, the, the oversized symbol it, it can crush a small symbol, and uh, and we feel that event is uh, is interesting, but uh, there's not much value behind it. So we thought about giving it a crush multiplier, and uh, and then we also had the ideas of using uh, oversized symbol in cluster game. Uh, and uh, having the reels rotate, so you so you have the oversized symbol kind of um, rotating with the entire rear grid. So we had a lot of interesting twists on top of the Titan Wave. So I think we were looking to uh, reusing the system, but adding more interesting twists to it. Uh, yeah. Perfect. That's everything from me. I just want to say thank you for joining us today, Tian, and showing us Castle uh, Golden Castle Titan Ways. Um, where can players look to play this game, either in demo form or online, anywhere? Mm, I think the game is going live on uh, uh, all our uh, uh, partners on uh, April the 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. So this week. <laughs> no, perfect. Well, good luck with the launch of the title. Um, we'll look forward to it. If any of the viewers today want to get access or keep up to date with the launch of Phantasma's Golden Castle, uh, look on slotbeats.com and we'll be putting the latest article on there as soon as it goes live. Tian, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.